Well, hey guys, and welcome to another episode in our Barney family YouTube and Facebook. And we are sitting in the Land Rover, aren't we, Sam? Yeah. At the very spot where we broke down the Thunder Line. Yeah. yeah. About a month ago. Yeah. So we'll we'll take it and give you a quick look around before we go, guys. But as always, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit notifications. That'll be awesome. And please remember we've got our Barney Family Fun, Barney Family Fun Shorty Short, and Barney Family Fun Gaming Channel. Gaming! <laughs> So what we're doing guys is, uh, we're actually going to be going wild camping, but David woke up with a bad cough and all the rest of it, so we might not be doing that as such. Probably everything else, but, but the big one we're doing is shooting. David is doing his first ever clay pigeon shooting with... A 12 gauge double barrel shotgun! So here we go. Yeah, so guys, this is the same spot where we broke down at Thunder in the Glen, and of course the bikes were coming this way if you can remember rightly. That's well worth a look guys if you want to look back. Pretty much 20 minutes of Harley Davidson's driving past, trikes and whatnot, really, really cool. Yeah, so this was a very, very cool spot, just awesome. But we have got Frank back, look at him. And again guys, we'll see how it goes, but I don't think we'll actually be doing the roof tent, but we'll do everything else but. Right guys, let's get it moving. Now you guys can't see it because there's water on the window. Yeah. Right, let's get out of here. Now you guys can see. Yeah guys, so as always, I mean this will be a two part episode, no doubt. But um, we tend to sort of just improvise as we go along. Don't like to really to plan too much. It's nice to see things for the first time with you guys as well, you know, so. But yeah, we came up, not last year, but the year before, and David got to handle a double barrel shotgun, but um, it was probably just a bit heavy for you. But he's only 10. But no, he's I'm only, 9. Oh, you're 9. You're almost 10, sorry. And he's a big lad. He's 5 foot tall, so we should be fine today. Yeah, yeah so, of course, um, we actually got down into Grand on Spade, though, didn't we? We had a bacon yeah. roll and a sausage roll or something. I had a Red Bull. And David had a Red Bull. Believe me, these kids don't need Red Bulls. I had don't. a Red Bull this morning. Yeah. You guys don't need coffee yet, though. You just wait. You're a long way away from eating coffee in the morning. It's a hustle. I was just tired. Because we were up at 10. I probably got to sleep by 11. But David, you really did sound rough this morning. The thing, the thing is, we'll, we'll still do everything else but the actual wild camp itself. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll see, see how we... I'll feel um, when we get there. Yeah. Oh, down we go. Yeah, so we can grant the speed. Now, I think there was a lot of the bikers here as well, wasn't there? Yeah. A lot of the stalls and stuff. As you can see guys, a bit of a miserable day. Pretty miserable today. Xander actually made it up there, so he told me about most of the things that happened there. Well, we will do it 2.0 next year, won't we? He told me there was go-karting. Well, what we're actually thinking about guys is, is actually being in that ride out with yeah. the bandit, aren't we? So we'll actually go with them this time. Well, let's do the fire blade. They must do the fire blade. One of the things about the fire blade, guys, just for those of you who don't know, we've got two motorbikes. One is a 1200 Bandit, 2000 model. And one is a 900 fire blade. Yeah, the classic CBR 900 RR. Um, but I'm getting a bit older now, and sometimes you're hunching over the tank. Oh my goodness. Especially for an hour and a half. Um, but we'll see. Well, I think what we might do is that times that I think that we should actually wild camp up at Lock and Door. That would be cool. Yeah. Wild camp the whole weekend up here. Yeah, I guess this is Granton and Spay. Uh, we're just about 20 minutes from Aviemoor, 20 minutes or so from uh, the shooting. So we'll have some beautiful views of the mountains for you very, very shortly. Very, very shortly. Oh, off-road! Oh, Yo. yes! Yo, what is that? that is sick! What was that? I think we just got that on camera. 
Yeah, I wonder if that's one of those sort of custom built, like a German number plates on it, I think. So maybe one of those real custom off-road jobs. Yeah. <laughs> that one was sick. Well, we're not. Frank's got a roof tank on you, Frank. You're technically an off-road camper. Can we get a tank for that? A tank? Just sleeping in a tank. <laughs> Everybody just wondering why there's a tank at a caravan park. Yes. actually taken the, you know, if we decided against wild carbon, we could have actually come up here on the barn decks. It's all fixed now. That was a fuel tap problem. I thought it might have been a, a, I thought it might have been an overheating problem, but it was actually the fuel tap was faulty. But it's now fixed. Normally barn decks are absolutely bulletproof, but there you go. And there's the river Spey off to our left. Oh, I remember that. I don't know if you remember, but remember when there's tons of like Lamborghinis and McCormans yeah. and come down this exact road? Was that not the very first? Emily Wild Camp. Yes. So we've yeah. done Lock and Door, we did RV Moor. So yeah, something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. And of course, guys, this is Frank's first time out on a proper journey. He's been off the road for a year. And really just because of the cost of living this year, um, we thought, you know, we couldn't really justify having two cars on the road at the minute. But um, it's about time now the bad weather's coming in. And having How's the four feel? and having the four by four is always good. How's that feel? It's good, yeah. And of course there you go again, yeah, fuel is sky high at the moment. So um, we're not doing huge runs in different places. But RV more like 14 miles, pretty much where we need to get to. Yeah, what a morning. But as soon as you get past all the sort of trees and all these bits and pieces, guys, you will see the Cairngorm Mountains. And that never ever gets old. We always try to do little kind of different things in our videos, but this never gets old at all. And that is where we're heading, isn't it, Sunny Boy? Yeah. The Cairngorms. It's a lot of tree planting as well. Yeah. yeah. so guys, up there, over to the left, you'll see the Cairngorms. I'll wait to see the views we'll get on the way here. I mean, it is really beautiful. I think just up here, you can see it to the left. Machines. 
song on here, Talking Sugar. Yeah. I think they do have a light on though, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, they've got a light I'm on. I'm pretty sure they might have a sawed off. Well, it was over a year ago when you tried that little or double bottle shot. Look back on our channel, um, it should be going up to the sugar bowl. That's right, that was the sugar bowl episode, wasn't it? Yeah. Big tour bus. Oh, that monster. It's not here. Yeah, it's up. It's, the mountains are a little bit obscure today, but again, guys, we are going to go up into the mountain today. But basically, the place where we're going to be clay pigeon shooting is actually so, uh, not halfway up, but it's as you start going up the mountain. But, oh, look at Scotland. Not the bit where you can go on time lapse. Don't. Oh, you got it, son. Just go on video, and then you'll just see under the zoom in thing. Slow motion and time lapse. Slow mo time lapse, my boy. Slow mo time lapse. Yeah, the slow and freeze corners are pretty wide windy, and Frank has got a lot of weight. Oh, we've got a lot of weight in the launch over today. Yeah. Because we're actually fully kitted out for a wild camping night. So we decided what we'll do is we're going to do absolutely everything else but actually sleep in the night. Yeah, uh, we'll I night have in. a bad cough yeah. and it's not enough. Yes, it's not nice. It's not nice. Oh, is that big bulls? That's one big bull. Yeah. Two boy, uh, two boy little, little boy bulls as well. This is bouncy, this bit of road. As you'll see, look. And I like to slow down the gears. I like to use the gears to slow down. Rather than brakes. There's always a climb, look. We're having to climb again here, look. Oh, no, I just don't want the wind. Eh, uh, aye, he's an absolutely amazing shot when it comes to the airsoft, but... Uh, 12 gauge shotguns are a lot different, but it's actually the only real issue with David would be the weight. Yeah. You know, if you were a fully grown you know, teenager, it would be a lot easier. So don't worry if you miss a lot or anything, you know, it's it's more the experience of firing. Well, if they have a pump shotgun. A pump shotgun, I don't think they've got one of them. Aww. I know, I wish. Yeah, so I mean, it's just the experience of actually firing the thing, son. You've got to be awesome. I think you get an hour, and you've got eight different challenges. So that should be really cool. You probably just start off with one disc, then like maybe two discs together, and then both go in different ways, and maybe three discs. Yeah, it's not going to be the same. If you are a beginner, I'm not sure what the, they might have a different way of doing things now. Well, we'd have to sit about for like an hour or something. Alfie, 
we actually purposefully haven't went to Aviemore in the car a month for a while now because you know we always want to show you guys new places and uh, you know we went across the Isle of Skye when we saw mm -hmm. down to Loch Lomans, been up to Black Isle, but Aviemore we went to a lot, especially when the kids were younger. So we're gonna leave that just now, aren't we, Sunny Boy? See, so it's not really tree season now. It will be in the, in the October holidays, there'll be a lot, a lot. Let's let this dude out, especially since he's a biker. But then again, I think that's push bikes actually, not, not oh. motor bikes. Is this a big uh, Mustang I'm seeing coming up here? Oh, yeah. Is it? Uh, no. no. What is that? Well, it's probably a really old, old car or something. You guys look at the Land Rover over there, like. It's been there for years. Big old Land Rover. Surprised no one has ever tried stealing it. <laughs> I don't think they could. Yeah, so we're basically just going to go through Avenue War, guys, and then head straight up to Loch Morlock. Now, wait until you see this, this Loch Morlock. If you haven't seen this before, you are going to love it. It is so beautiful. It'll take plenty of photos and footage. I hate the toilets up here, you know why? Why? You have to pay to get in. Yes. Now, I actually have a colostomy so I can go into the same old toilets, you see. I know, I don't use that card often enough, eh? You should. I should really. We can park in places <laughs> where nobody else can park. Yeah. We can't find any parking spots. Well, Go if, there. if I have a buggy emergency, then yeah, absolutely. You kind of have to. I think you actually should yeah. do that. If you, if you look back on the old fishing videos, too, guys, it's, uh, just to the left here is Rothy Marcus. David and Emily have been fishing there since they were three years old. Yep. David caught his first fish when he was three, I think. I you'd have to ask Mummy. She's always better with that, that sort of thing than me, but it was certainly very early. Look, there goes Rothley Marcus fishing. Oh, that place is fun. You always have to remember the speed bump here. Because you could go flying. Yeah. You have to go very slow over it when you've got the caravan on the back. Right, big climb now, we're heading up, 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 up. Might not look like it on camera, guys, but we are. Climbing. You'll hear a drop front down a gear. Just to get a bit of room. Yeah, I mean, this Discovery weighs about two and a half tons. And of course, all the extra weights, me and David and that. Now, you see when you pull a two and a half ton caravan, he has got his work cut out for him. So what you have to be very careful about in this uh, area is push bicyclists. Because they go quite yeah, the slow. The road's just way too tight to be overtaken with corners. Just make sure everybody behind us knows. And there's Badagush. Did all the heating for in that place actually, Badagush. When I was back in the heating, heating designer days. Do event. Dorky event. Very first car park on the edge of Loch Morlock, which is just up around here. Right, now is this the turning point down here, isn't it? Wow, I remember this, remember this place. Now we remember we camped across the road in the forests, remember? Yeah. Wait until you see this though guys. Wait until you see this. Look, that's why I should have a disabled look, disabled folk to park here free. Free! Well technically disabled. Well, Ooh, oh, I remember when me and Emily would do parkour over the rocks. That? And Emily slept on one. Right, this is our Land Rover country, isn't it? Emily? Right, so guys, we'll give you a look at all that in just a minute, eh, son? But for now, we're going to head over because I promised you guys a view. And a view is what you're going to get. Look at this. Oh, and here they go. Yeah, need some bread, son. The ducks are awesome here. Hey, guys, you hungry? 
and obviously the tourists feed them so they're quite happy. Hey, lots of boys! Hey, lots of boys! Oh, oh, wee bit sun, little, little, little bit at a time. <laughs> oh, don't come after just me. little bits in that even. Don't come after me. But remember, son, you can't actually just use them. Hey guys, hello, I know. Yeah, I know. I know. You're following me. <laughs> They're not worried, are you? They're right at their feet. Oh, guys. Shame. I think they actually do get fed very, very well. They look, they're all so plump. Look at him. You get a lot of tourist bread, don't you? Ah, he's still on it. Hey, hello, my darling. What a lovely wee things. I don't have anything. No, I don't have anything. <gasps> David, look! Babies! Oh, my goodness. Right, have to get to the babies, son. Go and get, go and get some more for the wee ones. Oh, look at the wee ones. Go get some more for the wee ones, son. Can you come in? Can you come in this way? Yeah, I know. I know, we're just getting some more. They're following you, son. How's it going? Not bad, yourself. Alright, we'll have to give the little ones a wee feed, eh, son? There they go. Look at this, David's army, look. <laughs> go for it, son, babies. Here we go. Oh, How's that? Oh. Mama, not happy. Look at the little one. Come on, see, get wee wee ones for the little ones. Oh, we got one. Oh, hello, guys. Oh, there's Mama protecting the baby. That's it, Mama. You tell the other ones to go, eh, Mama? Stay back. Oh, no. oh the baby's gonna have full bellies tonight, aren't you? See? They're gonna sleep well. They're gonna sleep well. All the other ones are actually been quite good. Aren't they? They're not sort of sailing in and it's quite surprising they're not all sort of coming in, they're letting the babies eat. Hey. Poor oh, Emily missing this. Oh my goodness. Emily probably should have came. Yeah, she'll be just. Oh. She'll love it when she sees this. That one's feisty. Hey guys. Oh, I think babies are full better. Oh, they're getting drinks. Look, guys. Look at them drinking. Are you washing it down, guys? Hello. Are you washing it down? They're just washing it down, aren't they? That's exactly what they're doing. Hello. Are you mummy? Hey, are you mummy? Is that what's going on? Mm, here we go. They are, look at them. Hey, you guys, aren't you gorgeous? Hey, aren't you gorgeous? What are you off to? Maybe a couple of those bits of bread's enough for them at this stage. Hey? This is the last piece. Who will I give it to? Dave's on last piece. Yeah, you mama, I'm not going to hurt your babies, darling, don't worry. Oh, they're all washing down. Look at this, guys. Isn't that amazing? Look how cute these ducklings are. Oh, that one's starting to take a wee nap. No one there. Have a wee nap. I see you guys, I'm sorry. Good guys, look, they're all going back in the we water now. We only have one softy left. Yeah. Goodness, they're all so thirsty, aren't they, after that? Now you can see how many of them I fed. Oh yeah, there's definitely a few of them, eh? This is how many I fed. Yeah. And there's the four of you guys again. You guys just turn to look for little scraps, eh? Oh, and a little birdie. Look, you looking at this as well. I don't think the duckies are going to be too happy with you, though. Eh? And the guys, this is all for free. Oh, that's how many of the ducks. 
Well, I know they're following us. Do it down there. Yeah, if you want. Yeah, so young David here is going to make his old dad a cup of coffee, eh, son? Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to give you a quick look at this. I mean, this is very basic. Very, very Need basic. But I'll give you a quick look at what we've got. Obviously, all the tools, tie straps, hammer. Always good for a space saver, multi tool screwdriver, which is really cool. Get the water out. Obviously, air compressor, which is always really handy. Tie wraps, always handy. A total must. Duct tape. You guys all know it does everything. It's always good to have. Jack for the car. Radiator weld, just in case you get a bit of a radiator problem. Emergency tire repair. The WD 40, so that's all awesome. Now, this is more like a cutlery and food side, don't you? Yeah. So again, really, really basic, just the essentials. Extra burner, Ooh, that is I can't remember what for. Now we got beans and... Tape potatoes. That's meatballs there actually, Mom got them. More beans. And then we got our salt, usually for omelets. And then we got yeah. eggs for omelets, mess tins. We try pork. not to use these pans because you can actually keep just with the mess tins. Yeah. And David's always favourite. Dot hot, hot, hot Don't dogs. we let the water boil before adding the next cap? So in here we've got treats obviously, some donuts, and then obviously know. all our drinks, isn't it? All our drinks and stuff in here. Drinks, crisps, bits of pieces. And then your more practical stuff in this little box. So of course washing up liquid, deodorant, hot water bottles, binoculars, just about everything. Full fishing bag. Fly fishing, sea fishing, loch fishing, everything's in there. That's all of our clothes. Hammock, of course. <laughs> yeah. And uh, grind sheets. Now, this is another addition we've put in. That there is a little two man tent that we used at the reservoir in our and last then while we camp. We have up there our four man. Yeah. But it's a 20 man. But we're keeping that for so if we want to go off, off, off road, we can if we want to. And obviously, for that, we need mats and bits and pieces. Well, I'll just leave the young man here to make me a nice cup of coffee, eh? We've we'll still got a little while before we have to go to the shooting, don't we, son? Yeah, so, and of course, we've got this seat, just in case Emily's coming with us. Um, but normally, we can put the seats across and we can put all our bedding in here, which is easy, easy peasy. And, of course, guys, we are doing Emily's horse field at the moment. So, as you'll see, solar energizer for the fence. We've got some signs. We've got the fence tape. We're at 600 metres there all together, which should do us. But yeah, proper British Army sleeping bags. If we were going to be staying out in this tonight, then these are the ones that you want. Oh my goodness. Yes, yeah, spare wheel obviously, but that's spare wheel for the trailer or the caravan. Whichever we're sort of taking with us. And, I'm looking for that. I found the spinner's box, son. I can see. There's the spinner's box. Spinner's and lure box. Yeah, I've got a bit of rain coming down now, but I don't care about that in the slightest. It's the wind that's the problem. Eh. So obviously, yes, yeah, so of course, the, the really important thing, obviously, is the roof tent up top. And that's a two-man tent. I can go with the kids. It's quite easily. But we've also got this big roof box on the back. And that is when we go for bigger camps. Up in there, which I'll show you, there's a four-man tent and all sorts of gear. See, look, the duckies, they're not far away. You just walk around. They're not... They're not far away. Like Here's another one to get you, Gerald. They will just go. They will just go where the food is, son. Look. There's hardly any over there. Like. <laughs> okay, we need to bump up this heat. The wee babies, no, the wee babies are still down at the water. I think. Get it quite hot. So you make it bubble, my boy. Make it bubble. And then all we need is a bit of milk, but we forgot sugar. Yeah. Dopey daddy. Dopey daddy. Right guys, so this is the newest addition. We've, we haven't really got that much stuff to get just to finish off our wild camping supply. But for those of you who don't know, this is a, called an, an inverter. And you can connect this up to your battery on the car to give you, which is in the UK, 240 volt. So we can use 240 volt, uh, two, 240 volt heaters and 240 volt lights, which will be awesome. And then you've obviously got your USB sockets as well. I know, I've just seen the wee ones are coming back up. These. Uh, this lady and her daughters are just feeding them just now. Oh, look. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, so up top here, guys, we've got four-man temp. We've got 12-volt or 240-volt fridge. 
and this is all the 240 volt um, stuff, you know, the extension cable, garage light, heater, that's all there. This is the big two gas um, cooker, and this is our toilet, and this is our big gas. So the man of the moment here, he's always good standing the milk up, but we need a proper canister for the milk, son, because it does go, oh there's a frying oil, I was looking for that. Frying oil, obviously a lot lighter. And of course, with all this, guys, you know, you want to cut down the weight as much as you can. It's it's quite difficult. Not such a big deal with the Land Rover, but, you know, um, you have to cut down the weight. And of course, guys, we've always got all our extra stuff, like this action camera, the, uh, the Canon cam that I'm on. And there's all our filming stuff. So we've always got quite a lot of extras, haven't we? And if we were taking the kayak, goodness sake, we'd have to take all the life jackets and all the gear with that as well. That'd be a ton more heavy. Yeah. Oh, thank you, son. I don't want my boy to get into coffee just yet. He's only nine. But you have a wee tasty. Eh? It's good to have a hot you drink in the mornings. I'm ten. I know. Why do I keep saying you're ten? I don't know. There's something wrong with my brain. Right, so that's us just about ready to head off back down. We will come up back up the mountain just a little bit later, obviously. But uh, we're really need to get to the shoot, and David is so, so excited. Some of the best fed dugs in, uh, ducks in Britain, I think. 